What is up guys? So today I am back again with the second episode of Setup Step Up and today we will be featuring four desk setups from my friends and the common thing about them is they use these desk setups to play one of the best games out there called Warzone. I tried this game recently, however I am still not that good at it, still trying my best and Okay, let's start the desk setups. For the first setup, we have here the baller desk setup from Mark Sanchano. And we can say that it is a baller desk setup because he has a customized table from ILY Interiors. So if you see, the symmetrical placement of the table looks very clean, it looks exact, and it looks like he measured everything exactly. So you see his the different things that fit his table have their exact placements. And again, he is a baller because you see the jerseys on the wall. And he is really a baller because in high school, he was my teammate in the varsity team. So next, we have his computer. He is running a very capable computer in the Ryzen 5 2600. He has a BS, uh, B, B450M Aorus Pro Wi-Fi motherboard. He has the GTX um, MSI 1660 Super Gaming 6 gig. Um, he has 16 gig of 3200 MHz RAM from Kingston. He has an SSD. He has a fully modular PSU. He has... Um, and he has another source of storage in the one terabyte hard drive from Seagate. And we see again, he has a baller gaming chair in the Panther Hero series, the Batman edition. For his monitors, he has two monitors because he streams also. And if you see his if you see his wallpaper, he is again a certified baller because He's running a Mercedes-Benz picture just because he has a Mercedes-Benz which is his daily driver car. But okay, back to the back to the desk setup. We have here his monitors. His main gaming monitor is the HP 24 inch um, full HD 144Hz gaming monitor and he has the Asus VG24 24 inch 75Hz. Um, side monitor for when he streams he sees the chat on the side and Again another baller thing is how his speakers are set up because he has a sound bar from his TV Placed ex uh, behind this desk. I mean like under his monitors For the next we see we see how he mounted his Monitors he used the by North Bayou dual monitor mount. I think this is like a this is like a um, hydraulic setup wherein the mount the mount arms are easily moved and they are very stable. And again, he has the base from the subwoofer from his Sony setup from his TV. The next thing we look at are his peripherals. So we have here a cool looking set of headphones, um, keyboard, and mouse. It's more of like a black and blue setup, so I like how he went for a single theme. So for the headphones, we have here the Logitech G431, the Techware Spectre Pro RGB for his keyboard, and a Logitech mouse for in the G102 LightSync RGB. And he has also a Steel Series mouse pad which adds color and design to his table. The next thing are the things that he adds to his desk to make it look a little bit better. And he has his other laptop for work. So we have here the MacBook Pro 2015 for his work. Um, he has the AirPods Gen 2. And for his microphone in-game, he has the BM800 condenser microphone. And we see a new common thing in all of these desk setups, which is the fake plant that makes everything look a little bit better. 
Now we move on to the AWP wise, the UPS I think or so. Uh, all I know that it it's for the power supply of the computer. Um, when you have brownouts in your area, you need to have this because sometimes the sudden brownouts and then the power comes back on may fry some stuff in your computer. So this is a very good thing that he bought. Shout out you, Mark. And he has here another baller thing which he has a mini fridge right under his desk so when you're gaming intense gaming like an eight hour game session you're thirsty you just pull out that coke or the monster energy drink water beer anything and he also has his epson l4150 wi-fi printer for his work or anything he needs to print Next thing we have here is the setup from Dean Janisho, his work from home station. We see that it's a very relaxed vibe. It's more of like a earthy tones and so let's begin. For the PC we have here the B550M Pro motherboard that he's rocking. He has a GTX Zotac 1070 8 gig. He has the Ryzen 5 3600, a very good power to power performance to price ratio power ah, ah. price to performance ratio CPU. It's one of the best right now and it's always sold out. And we have here 16 gig of 3600 MHz from Trident G Scale RAM, so this works very well with his CPU. He has a 256 um, Lexar SSD for his operating system and he has a 1TB Seagate hard disk drive. For his monitor, we have here the BenQ 24-inch 60Hz monitor which he should um, upgrade in the future because we see that his computer is very capable for higher frame rates so he needs a 144 hertz monitor and I think he already told me he's saving up for Christmas he's gonna get a new monitor for his work from home station the laptop provided by his work is the Huawei D14 these laptops are very good very um, budget friendly and very powerful he has the Artex One headphones for his headphone setup and he has K-pop albums for his inspiration to the right of his workstation. And recently he sent me an extra picture because his office actually sent him a monitor for his laptop so he would have a dual setup, makes everything easier to multitask. He has here the work monitor, the HP 22F. It's a 22-inch 1080p monitor. So overall, we see the work from home station is very loaded. All he needs to do is maybe fix some cables, some cable management, because some, some things are hanging in the back. But um, overall, pretty good. And again, he needs a new monitor. Next gaming setup here is a razer gaming setup from the one and only aaron violent bansuelo we call him violent because that's his gaming name and he is a very talented gamer any game he tries he excels at it so yeah let's begin with his setup so it's more of a dark green green razor so it's razor so it's like a green layout green and black mostly for his monitors we have here the MSI optics MAG 24 214C 144 Hertz this is a very very good gaming monitor and he has for his side monitor the Ben BenQ RL 2450H again a 60 Hertz BenQ monitor so um, I see a lot of people are going with this monitor because it's a very good budget monitor and we see here um, he has for his PC it's an older PC so it's not as powerful 
like up to standards now but it still does the job done and he told me already that he's gonna be upgrading by Christmas again so yeah so for his computer he has the Intel Core i5 4th gen for he has 16 gigs of Kingston Hyper Fury X DDR3 RAM he has an MSI motherboard um, an RX 470 for his GPU and a 2 terabyte Seagate Barracuda HDD so I think he would need if he was gonna upgrade a new CPU a new motherboard he can stay with the GPU for like a few more months but he really needs to upgrade that and an SSD for his operating system but overall how he uses it now is mainly for work and um, some games so it's not in dire need of upgrade however if you still want to hit those AAA games you gotta upgrade so we have here again the red dragon the 1080p webcam he has a ring light so he also streams from time to time mostly i think dota game uh, the dota games or csgo i think i'm not sure and he uses the jbl c200 si earphones for his source of sound so again we look at his peripherals we have here the razor setup so the Razer Black Widow Ultimate Keyboard, very nice keyboard, and the Razer Death Hatter Chroma for his mouse. So overall, his setup looks very clean, and this is how this is how some people mistake um, expensive to making it look nice. So you have to spend a big budget to make everything look nice, but you actually don't. So. Shout out to you, Mr. Violent. I need some gaming tips and let's play soon. And last but not least, I think this is the setup that I like the most out of the four because I used to run a gaming laptop setup also. And this is just a very clean vibe from Noah Valdez. We have here the gaming laptop setup. He has here a very, very capable laptop setup in the Le the Lenovo Legion Y530. So guys, if you want to get into gaming and you want to have your laptop for work all in one, you can go for the Lenovo Legion series right now for around 50,000 pesos. You can get a very capable computer instead of going for the Mac, a Mac computer or those lighter versions of other computers. So we have here an Intel Core i7, he has 12 gigs of RAM and a NVIDIA 1050 Ti with 4 gigs of RAM. Um, for his side computer, side laptop, he has here the MacBook Air 2015. So he has two laptops right now. So if he has work, he has the MacBook Air and moves into the vibes, the gaming. We have here the Legion Lenovo laptop. So the things that make his desk setup so nice are here. These are like super budget, super clean things. And you don't have to go spending a lot of money for these things. So we have here first the digit the, 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 the digital the the digital wall clock. So you see in the picture that the digital wall clock is mounted on up top and it's such a clean vibe and yeah it adds so much to his wall that would be bare if he didn't have it. We have here the lava lamp which is another cool vibe. We have here the cool mounting uh, phone stand mounted on his table and he has the LED strips around his table to add more color so if you game in the dark you need a little bit more color you put some LED strips and you're good to go and we have his headphones the HyperX Cloud Stinger for his keyboard we have here another budget thing that you can check out on Lazada um, it's like a 87% mechanical keyboard he said that he's had this for um, a year, it does well, it cost him like 900 pesos, so if you guys are on a budget, go for this keyboard. And next thing we have here, for his mouse, he has the HyperX 
Pulse Fire mouse, the RGB mouse. It's a very nice mouse also, looks very clean. It goes well with the aesthetic of the build and it's very nice. Last thing you would need and he has in this setup is the USB hub for his laptop. So again, laptops don't have that much inputs for USBs. So this USB hub makes life a lot easier. And I think that is where I end this setup. Oh, one thing he should do to make this setup look a little bit cleaner is the digital wall clock has like a cable. So he should try to make the cable look as straight as possible so it would look super clean, super flush on the wall. And for the LED strips, one tip that, because you can see some um, heat spots like the exposed LED strip spots, you can buy a diffuser so the light goes out evenly and it would look nicer. So I think that is all. Maybe he can get a monitor for his setup so he could use a monitor since his laptop is um, a pretty strong laptop but overall right now he has a cool vibe with his monitor oh and i forgot his mouse pad is also rgb so very good very good vibes so that is it today for this episode of setup step up if you like this video like it if you don't like it still like it um like comment subscribe i'm i think i hit a thousand views on all of my videos so i'm very happy with that um i thank all of my friends who are watching and again guys clean your desk fix your wires wipe up the dust and this is jeffrey regala for the second episode of setup step up and I am out. Peace. Thank you for watching.